I'll try and clear up some of the confusion for you about these oxygen sensor wrenches and tools and what have you. Here's the deal. This is what a typical oxygen sensor looks like. This is actually pretty close to what's in your car. Um, they thread in, right here, these threads, it screws into the exhaust system. You know, just like a big bolt of sorts. So, the biggest problem you're going to encounter is these threads rust. So, it's a bitch to get these things out. So, you would think, well, just take a wrench and turn it out. And you put your wrench on there, and you start reefing on it, and it don't move, but these corners round off of the sensor, and then you're screwed. So, there's a couple ways to approach this. Because you are throwing your sensors away, we're, we're assuming your sensors are bad. You bought new ones, you can't send them back. You're not going to reuse the old ones. So, what I would suggest you do is, I've got this one with the wires cut off already. And that's what you're going to do. Cut the wires off and slip the box end over. And use the box end, where is it? I can't focus here. See the box end? Yeah, this thing won't autofocus, but you know, use that end and unscrew your sensor. Hopefully, you won't have to heat it. Now, you'd think, well, why can't you just put the box end over the wires? 99 times out of 100, the wiring connector is too big. You can't get the... It won't fit. So, you, you just dike the wires off and you're done. Take the sensors out, throw them away, and then... To put the new sensor in, you could just use the open end. You don't, they don't have to be that tight. You know, you just tighten them up. You know, ideally, screw them in, finger tight till the gasket. I don't know, can, can you see the gasket there? Till it touches off and you can't turn it with your fingers anymore and go like a quarter or a half turn more. That's it, you're done. You don't have to reef on it. Now these sockets, what the deal is with them, this is a standard socket, you know, like no special provisions. And, you know, you could put it on a sensor. A lot of times the socket's too short internally, so it couldn't even accommodate the uh, sensor. Sometimes, like, see, this is a little bit deeper, so it fits. And you could do that, same deal. You have to cut the wires off. Well, a lot of times you take a sensor out, you have to save it or transfer it to the to a replacement pipe or replacement converter or whatever so you don't want to tear them all up you can't cut the wires off so that's where these guys come in they got this slot built into the side and that slot accommodates the wiring and how it works is like this now this one's a better one this is a this is an unusual socket this is really long it's got a really big pass through but it makes the demonstration easier for sure can see where am I at here I'm losing it this allows you to unscrew this thing without ripping the wiring apart it won't you know it's that's what it's designed for these this one's a little shorter and you can see the the wiring's hitting at the top so that's actually putting a little pressure on the wiring but these work this is you never you almost never have room for this big guy but if you do, this is nice because you can throw an impact gun on it and have at it. Um, this one, I would be reluctant to use an impact gun on this particular case because chances of damaging this wiring are pretty good. But this still, you could get a sensor out with this socket and save the sensor. But you don't care about that. You're going to cut your wires off. You're going to use a regular old wrench and remove your sensor put your new ones in and you will be done and hopefully your code will be gone